everyone it's Diane back from Tattered Edges Design once again making a video um, I mentioned somewhere along the line I don't know that I was gonna lay off the journal making for a little bit just because I have a lot sitting here so I was kind of hem and hawing what do I want to do what I haven't done for a while and it dawned on me faux tea cards I haven't done for a while and I do know where this idea came from it was Amy at Al John YouTube channel so I'll try to link her video if I can find it anyway um, her idea was she just took and she does have precise measurements so you can you know if you're really interested I would recommend viewing that but these are essentially magazine or book page images on you know what your base of choice I've got this is just like packaging cardboard came in something this I think is poster board it's poster board and you make tea cards on them and I did, I had my husband make, I don't know how to do all this on the computer. It was a sheet that you could put on the backs then that says, because, you know, if you just gave somebody something like this or put it in a journal, someone might be like, well, big deal. So it's a bird on a card. But yeah, that looks kind of more real. And, you know, then that way a you know, junk journal or person maybe could write on it or something. But anyway, I don't know, this... A lot of these are seed catalogs. It's just, you know, out of... I think that was some kind of travel guide. But anyway, um, I haven't done much prep work here. I didn't even cut these down yet. These, they, these were in my shop. Nobody bought any, so they're not in there anymore. But I can use them for me. And I did pull a few images I thought might work. And Oh, well, I'll show you real... Uh, tea cards I pulled. I have a collection. These aren't all tea cards. There's some postage stamps and stuff under there. But if you see real ones, they do come, or did come, in case you, okay, in case you don't know. They were in tea and cigarette packs way back in like the 20s, 30s, teens, somewhere in that era. And they usually were a series. See, like this is number 8, this is number 17. So, you know, it was, the idea was, oh, you know, now I need number 10, so you had to go buy more tea or whatever. But, um, they were all, and if you want to really get into it, you can look, you know, just Google it. And the New York Public Library, um, what do they call it, the public domain images, they've got a ton of them to just look at. There's, you name the subject, there's probably a tea card or a cigarette card for it. But anyway, I started collecting dog ones years ago, and I haven't really added to it lately, but it's like, that's a very odd size. And that is a cigarette cart, as is this, and that's kind of unique. Now this one is a reproduction. Somewhere along the line, I don't really know the entire history, but they did make reproductions of these, and how you could buy it or get acquire it, I don't know. These I bought on eBay, I think. Like I said, that one's a reproduction. There's flowers. This is an original. It's kind of beat up. And most, I think all of them, had information on the backs of what it, you know, what they were, whatever. These, I think these look like they must be reproductions. Yeah, 1990. But they're, they're cool. They're fun. So at any rate, that's what I'm doing today. And I will say, there isn't a whole lot to really show because it's, you're not collaging or anything. You're just taking an image. But I thought, you know, I'd show them in case nobody had seen them before. They are pretty fun. And then maybe go through, this is the birds and balloons. See if I could find anything that I thought would be apropos. Um, it can be a little tricky. Here, I didn't actually measure these for you people. That's an inch, inch and three eighths, and two. So of course your image is a little small on it to get a border. The image is about you know, an inch and three sixteenths, and two and a quarter. And like I said, Amy gives precise measurements on her site, and I may or may not make them as precise as that. This one's not bad. 
I may, oh, someone's shredding up tree branches. Okay, why is it every day, every time, I shouldn't say every day, because I don't make videos every day, but every time I make a video, there's noise. But anyway, I was trying to say, it can be a little tricky to find images that are the right size, because they're kind of small, but yet, you know, what, how do I explain that? Well, A, they're small and narrow, I guess, is kind of the trick. So, it can be tricky. And sometimes, I think, if I'm remembering right, I haven't watched that video for quite a long time, I think Amy made a, um, like a frame. So she would put it on different things to see what it looked like, which is a good idea. And obviously, I haven't done that. But see, like, as cool as these might be, they're, they're too short. But like I said, with the those dog ones I showed, yeah, you know, you want to make them different sizes. Doesn't matter. Um, I was gonna say something else I forgot. I don't know. That's kind of pretty. That might work. I will say, popular subjects for tea cards were birds and dogs. Flowers was big, but there were, I mean, like I said, you name it, horses, flags of the world, and, you know, all, just all kinds of things. Oh, I think I was, when I said I don't remember what I was going to say, I think I was going to mention, um, this is a C catalog, it's relatively new, I don't know when, you know, this year or last year. Uh, so what do you do with them? I have tucked them in journals. You know, put them in little pockets. Like I said, so they can be kind of like a little journaling card. Beyond that, I don't know. You tell me. I mean, I think they're just kind of cool. But, you know, do you want a bunch of tea cards laying around your house? I don't know. But that, that's my, that's what I did with them. That's my intent, is to put them in journal pockets. I suppose you could, if you're a happy mail person, that would be kind of a neat idea. Well, that's pretty. I can use that. Oh, and there's the word create. So see, double bonus. I'm going to cut that out and put it in my words envelope for collages or journals or whatever. This being said, too, with... um. You know, making something this small with a border. If you do have a paper trimmer, that's probably a more recommended way to uh, cut these down. That's, that's okay, this one. I like zinnias. Yeah, I plant zinnias every year, and this year, you know, due to circumstances beyond my control, I couldn't get my normal seeds that I like so we just got you know like home improvement store seeds and they're okay but I didn't get the color variation I usually get with zinnias it's a little disappointing but I guess some are better than none right and this is a good one and that one's good too can you see you might need yeah, Neat. Oh, look at those. Well, I mean, it's just obviously enlarged to show texture, but morning glories are pretty. I will say, I got a uh, home improvement store uh, morning glory seeds, and those did very well. You know, if you wanted to go so far, if you really knew, you know, for something I know, these are tulips, you know, if you really had information there, you probably could print or write like a real card then what it is and all. That could be fun. These are kind of pretty. What are those? I can't pronounce it. Anybody know what that is? 
I've no, I know most flowers. I have no idea what that is. Hmm. Well, you learn something new every day, huh? Berries, blueberries, I think they're kind of too big a scale. Well, I don't know, it could be cool. Who am I to judge what's on a tea card, right? All right, we're at the end of this. I think, you know, that's enough for now. I got all this. I'll pause and trim this stuff down and come back. Okay, we're back and ready to go here. I cut everything out and these three were a little short and like I said I mean you can make them any size you want but as long as I have plenty of other images I'm just going to save these for something else and then it dawned on me after I was off camera and I was talking about sizes I have this dumb little notebook I made and in it I write sizes, things I've seen on YouTube or wherever, just my own things, what to include in journals. And I thought, you know what, I think I wrote down the tea card size. And I did. So the base is, I forget what I said, did I say this? One and three eighths inches by two and five eighths. And then your image is one and three sixteenths and two and three eighths. So there. And like I said, Amy explains all that on hers anyway, because this isn't really a tutorial. This is just watch Diane do it. So here's all my little boards cut. And my images, there were a few horizontal, but most of them were vertical. And, you know, how much do we want to watch Diane cut? Or cut. Paste. Glue, she's trying to say. So I'll just, I'll do a couple so you can see. We can chat. I don't know about what. The tree trimmers were still going. I don't hear them now. It's down the street. They've been there all day. You know, you don't you do want to be a little precise how you get it lined up so it's not crooked. And these are blackberries I believe since we had blueberries yeah I cut since those were too short I did pull out three different images there I got some glue on it let me grab a towel see if I can get that off whoops stuck let's see Yeah, it's kind of coming off. Okay. A little bit there. Okay, that's better. Alright, and then I'm going to take one of my backings that, you know, Amy didn't do this, and I keep saying this, but there's no faux tea card society either that's going to say, yes, you have to have backings, or no, don't put on a bagging. But I like to do that. And these I did cut by hand. Let's make sure this is going the right way. Ah, uh, here this way. Um, because it's white going on white, if it's a little a hair off, nobody's going to notice. So there we go. That's it. And like I said, there's not much to see here as far as, you know, Diane doing anything exciting. But, um... I just thought I'd, you know, kind of show this, mention this, because it is, you know, sometimes not so much, not so much you're not feeling the mojo, but, you know, you just aren't up for a big project, you don't want to start a new big project, maybe you're not feeling especially creative to really do, you know, an art journal page or something like that, so something like this, where it's a little more mechanical as far as it's more just sort of cutting and then pasting sometimes it is a nice break okay we're gonna back it's 
So yeah, do tell. What do you do when you feel like that and you don't want to a big project or a especially artsy project? There we go. There's another one. It's a bee on I think milkweed. Okay, I'm gonna continue gluing by myself. You can go about your business and then I'll come back when they're done. Okay, I'm done. Like I said, this isn't, you know, too much of an exciting video, I guess. But they're, you know, like I said, it's a nice little project for in between things or I don't feel like doing anything big today. So that's it. The, you know, horizontal ones are neat too. The back. It's really, the only trick to this is good cutting and then just when you glue, you know, just try to get it lined up nice. And before you know it, you have a bunch of faux tea cards to use in your journals, or like I said, you could write a little note, you know, just thank someone for a gift or something. They're they're cute. Nice way to use up some magazine images too. So alright, well thanks to Amy for this original idea. And thanks for joining me today, and have a nice day out there. <laughs>